Oh geez, there's a bat in here. A bat. Yeah, that's a, that's a live bat. All right, everyone, we're back with a new video. Mike and Jay together again. And behind us is what is known as the Berwick Incinerator. This is a location that I've uh, found on YouTube by another video. Mike actually found it as well by scouting the area on Google Maps. And we don't know anything about it. I couldn't find any history on it, any dates or anything like that. I do know it's been closed a long time. There's not much left to the structure itself. It's pretty much a shell of it now, but I thought it's something interesting to check out. Something I never saw personally, you know, an incinerator building. So we're gonna go inside, take some pictures, take some video, and take you with us. So come along with us. So here's our first look at it. You can see it's a uh, pretty ominous looking, especially with that big stack coming out of the top. And of course, lots of graffiti, all the windows are busted out, and looks like part of the basement area is actually filled in, backfilled, so don't know how much of it's going to be accessible, but let's head on over and find out. So here's a look at the basement. You can see it's backfilled here. Okay, so we're on the main level right now to see the remnants of a spiral staircase. Right in front of us is the reason we're here is to check out these incinerators, these giant furnaces, so to speak. Almost reminds you of like, um, I couldn't think of the word, it reminds me of like a crematory where they burn the bodies for the ashes. I don't believe that's what it was used for. As far as I know, it was used for burning trash but it does give off a kind of a darker vibe to it. It's a pretty big unit in here too. Yeah, that goes right down to the basement. Okay, as you saw, I just kind of made my way on this, what I guess would be like duct work. It was a little sketchy, and it's kind of pushing down under my weight. And I mean, it appears to be like a large like vault here with like, I guess this is, this is ash probably. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but it was kind of creepier that was behind here. I don't want to get too close, but it's a, uh, it's a good drop right down to the basement. There's another little room right there, which I don't know if, it, if it's accessible or not, but... It's 
like Adam the Roos says, whatever you do, don't look down. Alright, I made it up here, now I gotta make it back down, so I'm gonna hand mic the camera and uh, I'll take it down in one piece. But if I fall, at least it'll be on camera. <laughs> Got it. Yep. Yeah, right here, it's actually kind of scary. You can see right down to the basement, it's about a 20, 25 foot drop. And this is all rotted right here, so I don't want to step on that. I don't like this one bit. I'm just going to hop down here. Oh, Jesus. And it's probably not the smartest idea to walk on that, but I want to get up there. But it was kind of sketchy because it goes right down to the basement, like a 25 foot drop at least. At least, it, at least that's what it looks like. And this looks like almost like part of a drive shaft right here. So there is a second level and I think we could probably get to it from the outside. But we won't be using these stairs. There's a look inside the incinerator itself. Oh yeah. It's all like brick lined. It's kind of neat looking. And then it goes down. Probably the ashes drop down. Definitely pretty cool. I'm gonna have to snap some photos. It's a shame these stairs are no longer here. I don't know if they were cut out, like torched away, or they just rotted out. But. Definitely have to try and find a way up there. Another thing to point out too, if you ever come here, be very cautious. There's numerous holes in the ground. And this one's actually large enough to fall through. But Mike, it's clear that this place is officially abandoned. And you can tell why. We've got some children's items down here, Ninja Turtles and is that cars, I believe? So, as to why those items are here, I can't answer that, but there's also a pair of pliers right there, too. I actually want to try and make it down there because that actually goes around behind where we were before, so I'm going to contemplate going down there. <laughs> I think I can get down, I'm just worried about getting back up. But uh, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. I don't want to jump. Another tree down there. And yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I got a cramp. Okay, so I'm down. Didn't go smooth, but I'm down. As I was pointing out, there's a good pair of pliers right here. Needle nose. Oh, hello kitty. I was wondering what that was. Crap down here. 
pretzel box. And there's Mike. Hey. Hopefully he can pull me up if I get stuck. Okay. <laughs> Watch, there's probably like an entrance to the wall somewhere. Well, I see a room back here and there's a little lighter going to it. So it looks like we're behind the incinerator right now. You can see a, a light fixture up there, the bulb's still intact. Oh, here's the back side here, that's where I was on top of there a few minutes ago. So we have this little room here with this door on it and this ladder. So I'm going to try and climb up here. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to do it. Oh geez, there's a bat in here. A bat. Yeah, that's a, that's a live bat. I don't want to disturb it. I'm not going to waste too much time here. That scared me though. Hey, here's a... I don't know what this is for. Looks like it goes in. I actually think there's bats in there. I can hear squeaking or something. There's a big door here. That's kind of mysterious. All right, I don't want to spend any more time in here because this is a little precarious area. And I don't want that bat <laughs> coming down on me. So I'm gonna make my way back down this ladder here and go back to where I was. All right, I'm down. I believe now uh, we checked out everything on this floor. We're gonna head outside and try and go up to the next level. And then lastly, we'll try and get into the basement if it's worth going in there. So, see you in the outside. Okay, so we made it up to the side of the building here. We're up on the top level now. And right next to me is the giant smokestack. And there is ladder rungs to climb up, but I will not be doing that. I don't think I make it to the first step. But uh, if I was to guesstimate, I'd say roughly 80 feet high. It's a pretty neat view though. But right here we have the top portion of the building, which is in pretty bad shape. And I think there's a way in yeah, an on the back side. So we'll see you on the inside. So what it looks like here is a big bay door the roll-up garage already probably had vehicle access up here. Looks pretty empty. Looks like it's probably just more of a storage or maybe maintenance area or uh, employee quarters. Maybe a break room or something.
Definitely not a place you want to come at nighttime though, because as you can see, there's numerous false floors and hidden floors and openings. And that's looking right down into uh, inside one of the, the furnaces, the incinerators. Looks like it could have been a fireman's pole, but I think it's probably too small. It's a pretty cool graffiti piece right there. It's one of the better ones. It's better than some of the lackluster creativity we see in some of these places. staircase that's a it's a long drop I'm even getting nervous holding the camera here So the last place we're going to check out is the basement. We do have some access here. And it's probably the easiest way to get in without having to slide down this big pile of backfill. So we'll see how Mike fares going in first. No, it's ice. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was snow. Or it's snow, but it's slippery. Well, I guess I'm going now. It's going down regardless. Okay, we made it. All right, here is the bottom of the incinerators. Big pulley over there. Big exhaust pipe, maybe. Little cubby over there. It's inside the incinerator. That's a big door.
think I handed him one there. Man down. Oh, that's my fault for today. You're all right? Yep. To do that. As you can tell from my opening, it's not easy being a middle-aged bigger guy because <laughs> we're not very maneuverable. We could plow through doors and walls if we have to, but as far as climbing and heights and tight spaces, not so well. So at least give it a thumbs up for effort. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the look at this abandoned incinerator located in Berwick, Pennsylvania. A couple of quick things I want to mention is that this property is not posted and it's actually located along a walking trail. So as far as I know, you're allowed to be here, but use extreme caution. There's a lot of dangerous areas with holes in the ground, sharp metal corners and rooftop that is uh, not in the best of shape. So just keep that in mind. If you come here, it's a great place to photograph and to kind of explore, but please don't come alone and don't be, you know, risking your life trying to get in places that you shouldn't be going, you know, and most of all, don't come at nighttime. It's very dangerous here. Aside from that though, it is pretty cool. I wish I had more information for you, but it was neat to see what's left of this place. I don't know if there's any other buildings that were tied to it and maybe knocked down at a later date, but as far as I could tell, it hasn't been used in probably 20, 30 years at least, if not longer. But obviously if you guys have any information, share it down below, but Michael tell you what he thinks about it. It's pretty neat. Uh, I like the stack and the incinerators are pretty neat. They're it just, it's a massive place. Um, not much more, but it's pretty neat find. Uh, we're already down in the area, so it's, you know, it wasn't, wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad find. And our last location we went to before this video, which you may, may or may not have seen, didn't work out. It kind of got it ended abruptly. So um, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. It's down here in Berwick as well. But I just want to say, uh, if you haven't already done so, you could follow me on Facebook, where I do share a lot of my photos from my adventures. I also have photos available for purchase. You'll find the link to that down below in the description, as well as my links to the t-shirt shop and my Patreon page, which will help fund future adventures. Mike's gonna have a video on his channel, Good Day for Decay, which I will link down below. And lastly, just wanna say, if you enjoyed today's adventure, please give it a thumbs up, it means a lot. It tells us that you enjoy these videos, and more importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that, ring the notification bell. And lastly, just wanna say, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.